All right, we'll finish pulling this motor apart here. We've got all the Phillips out all the way around, so we'll just go ahead and, and pull them all out. We've got your cover here with your um, gear position sensor uh, up top here, and two Phillips screws to remove that. And then in behind that, we've got the actual tab uh, for that sensor that will have to be removed before that case is split. And then this case might be a bit of a challenge just because of the age of the motorcycle and, and never being apart. Um, so we'll see how it comes apart here. And go ahead, I use the impact driver on this as well. Turn it to where it stops and then we can loosen it up there. Got that brass sensor there. Now we'll go ahead and split this case. I think we've got everything undone here. And on this side, we'll just look, double check everything. And we'll know it if not. I kind of taken tap on here to break this seal. You want to make sure you don't damage those cases they're aluminum so just be careful you don't hit too hard but um, once that seals broken like it is there it's a little bit easier to get apart there we might have to go in and use something to help us get it apart if I'm using a screwdriver I just like to go in an area that uh, one of the motor mounts goes through and that is an area that the gaskets um, don't, don't seal up. Never like to use screwdrivers to open it up, but sometimes they're just no other way. Once you get them broke apart like that, we've got some pressure on there, we can take and try to open it up with a rubber mallet. You see we've got it coming there, but it's still gonna be a challenge. that right off. Huh. Maybe don't do that. This case is those dowel pins get stuck on here and just makes it a challenge to get these cases apart with all the rust. And I don't think we have bolts holding it ah, right now because it's come apart so far, but it is definitely being a challenge. Cases may be shot by the time we're finished here.
this one is tough. case lifted off there that piece that appears that broke off is is this little brass colored piece here and I'll show you it goes on the other side and I'm not sure if it's a cap that comes off or if it actually broke but I'll check that here in a minute That case is split now. There's your crankshaft, and you can see that it's seized up in there. It may be shot. Case may be shot uh, just because of having that bearing seized up like that. Uh, but there's your Kickstarter gear here. And we had a piece fall down in there, a spring loaded piece. This, this sits in here. Let's see. That's spring loaded. This is for your Kickstarter. So, this is the piece that also includes this. And we'll just set this on there. This isn't the right way, but just set that all together there. And then we've got your shift drum here. You've got your this this back here sits on the the clutch. Sits on that shelf. Pull this out together here. And there is your complete transmission assembly there. Shift drum and force, and then your two main shafts there. And this is the this is the piece that I broke off here, and it looks like this whole piece comes out. So I'll take and press this out here, and that looks like a replaceable piece. It's a brass insert that kind of holds this uh, that gear straight. So that is the crankcase split on a KE one hundred.